could have Lord lifted me Lord lifted me Lord lifted me when nothing else could have Lord lifted me the love of God lifted me the love of Jesus lifted me when nothing else could have Lord lifted me Lord lifted me Lord lifted me when nothing else could have Lord lifted me Good morning God bless you and I welcome you to another beautiful day as made is Tuesday morning and by the grace of God is the seventh day of May 2024 God has been so good to us I've been looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 5 this morning and verse 10. The Bible says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the thing which he has done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. Now, the Bible says, the lord respect our will so as free moral agent we are free to do whatever we want to do and that is why anytime you hear the word of god you see the word must it's it's kind of scarcely used why because god cannot force us into doing anything but if you eventually found one then that thing needs to be paid a very strong attention the word must the Bible says we must all, which means you don't have an option. You don't have a choice. You must say someone said, you know, I'll be so wicked in this world so that when I get to when I get up there, God will be so angry that when he swing me, swing me and throw me over, I will fly over hell to the other side. So people making humorous statements on something they have no idea about. A man of God was making an illustration one day and he said now, in this country, we have what they call mock exam, doing something that looks like the exam. He said, now, can people mock hell by sitting on their burning stove? Of course, you know what the answer would be. So this morning, the Bible says we must all, everyone hearing my voice this morning, you will face God with your life. Everyone hearing my voice, you are a pastor, you are a leader, you are a minister. So far, you have heard the word of the Lord. So far, you have one time confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You will stand before the judgment seat of Christ to give an account of how you have lived your life. Now, this whole thing you are saying is your life, is your life. One day, you will answer to God what you have done and how you have lived your life on this earth. The question this morning is, if today happened to be that last day in your life, what will you tell God? If today happened to be that last day in your life, what will become of you? What will become of your life? What will you explain to God? Are you hearing my voice while still wandering in sin? Are you hearing my voice while still wandering in unrighteousness? You are hearing my voice while still wandering in things that does not glorify God? If the Lord end your life today, what will you answer to God on how you have lived your life? The Bible says again, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Hallelujah. So that we will give account of the things we have done while we are still here on earth. The good news is that it is not too late to be right. Are you hearing me? It is not too late to be right. The song writer says, a violent offender who truly believes he will obtain mercy and pardon from the Lord. So this morning, there be anything in your life, if there's anything in your heart, if there's anything you are hiding, if there's anything you are not disclosing, that you know will be a we 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 block you off, that we know we not make you make the kingdom of God. I plead with you this morning: repent and change your ways. Repent and change your ways. You hearing me with a reprobate heart? Your mind is so strong you don't care anymore. I plead with you in the name of Jesus: repent and amend your ways. Repent and amaze your way. Repent and amaze your way. Repent and amend your way. Remember, like I said, the reason why you are you have done what you did will no longer come before God. The reason why you lied will not matter. The reason why you committed adultery will not matter. 
The reason why that made you to fight will not matter. The only thing that will matter is what did you end your life with. This morning, I will end on this note. A man left the house one day very angry with the wife. Very angry. Probably after a heated argument. He never knew that he would die on his way to wherever he was going to. Truly, he died and he went up there. And God showed him everywhere. He saw the beauties of heaven, the crowns and everything. And God took him to hell and he saw the pain and the agony that was there. At the end, he was so confident and telling the Lord, Why are you showing me hell? Why are you showing me? You've shown me where I belong. Let me go there. And the Lord said to him, according to his testimony, If this happens to be your final death, this is where you would have entered hell. He screamed and yelled as a pastor, How will I go there? How will I go there? How will I go? And God said, Because of some things you have done in your past, I will send you back to this and go and make amend. Go and make amend. The Bible says, Many will say, Lord, Lord, did I not do this in your name? And Jesus will say, I do not know you, workers of iniquity. Everyone hearing me, go and amend your ways. Go and amend your ways. Go and amend your path. Change today is still available. As you do the need for as you re- relate to the world, may the Lord keep and preserve you in the name of Jesus. Now be blessed, now be favored. May the Lord exalt your horn, anoint your head, cause you to run over. As you pay attention to this one, may the Spirit of the Lord guide your heart and lead you in the right path. That in Jesus' name, so far, the, the, should Jesus come today, you will meet with him and you will greet him and we welcome you in the name of Jesus. Now I soak everyone hearing my voice with the blood of Jesus Christ. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' name, Amen.